It's the centennial of the beautiful Wrigley Building downtown Chicago, responsible for pretty much creating Michigan Avenue. I am here with Tim Samuelson, who's a Chicago historian for the city. Good morning. Good morning. I want to show this picture, Tim, and a few pictures of yesteryear, if we can. Let's go to those pictures to see what we mean when we say Michigan Avenue wasn't even called Michigan Avenue, right? No, it was Pine Street. Uh -huh. It was a dead end. Yes. It was not glamorous place at all right it was nothing but factories and things that had wharves on the river and mm -hmm. smelly there was this the kirk soap factory was here and it smelled bad <laughs> but mm -hmm. somebody has to do something about yeah. it so this is a story of two bills yeah mayor big bill thompson yeah he is going to jump start a plan to transform this nasty place into what we now call the Magnificent Mile. Right. He starts building a beautiful classical bridge across the river. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it leads to nowhere. nowhere. So then he talks to Mr. Wrigley and they build this majestic building that in that first picture, you can just tell that one, one thing looks not at all like the other. Yeah. How would you describe this building? It's a little bit of a lot of different things. <laughs> so yeah. this was to be now a elegant Parisian boulevard. Wow. What you're looking at in detail, mm -hmm. this is based on a partially a 16th century Parisian chateau of King Francis the mm First. -hmm. But it's also from the 16th century the Giralda Tower. Yeah. But I mean, just look at it. Yeah. I would say it's just as much a fancy place right out of the land of Oz. Who designed it? Who was the it architect? Was a, it was a firm called Graham Anderson Probst and White, but it was a young man named Charles Beersman. Mm -hmm. And so this was really his first big chance to do a building. It was the tower first. The, the Is this the South Tower? This is the South Tower. Mm -hmm. This was, was completed in 1921. Mm -hmm. It was the tallest building in Chicago wow. at the time it was completed. And of course, it's got the clock at the top. Right. Made out of architectural terracotta, made in Chicago. It changes in color from kind of a light, a dull white at the bottom. It becomes more yellow as you go to the top because they said it would be like the light is always shining from the sun. On I it. love it. Dame, thank you so much for all the information. We're going to go to the rooftop now so we can see the views. We're going to get closer to the clock tower too and celebrate Wrigley Building and its centennial. You're watching WGM Morning News. We'll be right back.